In this video, I'm going to be upgrading this laptop to SSD hard drive without reinstalling operation system. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to download the software and I'm going to clone or migrate the Windows OS into this hard drive. And then I'm just going to swap it out without reinstalling operation system on it. And it's going to work. So first thing we need to do, we need to go into the internet browser and we need to go to the partition wizard. Dot com. I'll put link in the description below and then click on download and then download free edition. Click save. And now I'm, gonna, I'm just going to click run to install the software and this pop up box. Click OK. And just go through the installation process. I'm going to check this pop up box here because it's trying to install a vast free antivirus with this program and I'm going to click next and then install. Once it's installing, we need to connect hard drive into the laptop and you'll have to use this kind of cable. This is a USB to SATA and I will put link in the description below for it. I'm going to connect the hard drive and I'm going to connect to laptop. So now my hard drive is connected and we can click on finish installation. And right here in this window, I'm going to click on Migrate OS. Actually, before I'm going to do this, I'm going to close this window. And uh, this is the hard drive that I'm going to be using. This is my SSD. What I'm going to do, I'm going to choose, I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to select the partition and I'm going to delete them. If you are if you have a brand new hard drive, probably won't have to do that. But just to make sure we have all that space is unallocated. So we need to choose a partition and then right here on this side, we need to scroll down a little bit and then delete partition and then same thing for the main one. Delete partition. And now you can see over here, we have uh, 111 gigabytes unallocated. So now I'm going to click on migrate OS to SSD or HD wizard. And right here, I'm going to click on, uh, I'm going to leave A as a default option. And then I'm going to click next. And right here, I'm going to choose my SSD. That's the one. And then I'm going to click next. And right here, I'm going to leave everything as default. And then I'm going to click next again. And then it's just going to tell you that you have to configure your BIOS and then click finish. Once this is done, you have to click apply in a software. And before we're going to do that, we have to make sure we close old running programs. So your internet browser and I will have to record my OBS studio because that's how I'm recording my screen and I will switch to my camera right now. Okay. Everything is closed and now I'm going to click apply. And right here, I'm going to click yes. And this is preparing. And in this option, we just need to click restart. Once it's going to restart, it's going to finish the installation process or migration process. And in the startup, it's going to finish migrating OS to a new hard drive. Once the process is complete, we need to shut down the computer, swap the hard drive and test and see if it's going to work. I'm going to unscrew all the screws first. Now I'm going to take the cover off. This is my existing hard drive. I'm going to take these four screws that holds the hard drive down. Now I'm going to pull the hard drive really carefully. I'm going to detach the SATA cable and I will have to take this bracket that holds the hard drive, put it on my new SSD. Now I'm going to attach it to the computer, to the SATA cable. Put in a slot and put all the screws to secure the hard drive. OK, 
Okay, once the hard drive installed, I'm gonna put the cover back on. Now it's done, let's start the laptop and see if it's actually gonna work. Okay, let's start the laptop. And in my case, I didn't have to make any changes in the BIOS. It started up just like that. So that's how it's easy it is to actually migrate to a new hard drive without reinstalling OS. If you don't know your product key or maybe you have software that you don't know the product key to it and you're just trying to clone or migrate in this case. And that's how it's to install with this mini partition tool. And I will put all the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.